Hold on, I need to put my Crocs in sports mode real quick. Sports mode. Cause this is gonna be an active podcast. Action. Parkour. 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 Can you hear me in my water bottle? I get dehydrated at times. Ow. Oh shit. I almost did your fingers like mine. Yours probably be worse. You can see my finger, like my nail. It's because it like cut the side. You can like see it. I think I may need stitches. How bad is it? I'll show you a picture. Mm-hmm. Hey, mom said your thing didn't come in your insurance card. Yeah. Do you so like gory stuff? I'm sure. Wait, you just said the door slammed. Yeah, on my finger. And like I pulled it. That's my nail right there. Have you went to these people? The campus clinic? Because that's free. Why don't you just go there? Campus clinic? Yeah. You can go there? Yes. What the fuck? It's for students. The one on UNT? Yeah. And they're just going to clean it up and do me ju- they probably won't give you certain. They don't do anything like hardcore, but they'll probably clean it up and tell you like what to do. Interesting. Did you send it to mom? The picture? Yeah. Well, cause like <laughs> I I don't know. I feel like did you clean it at least? Yeah. What the With like water and. On uh, like, on cleaning bacteria shit. Yeah. Did it burn? No, no, nigga. It's twenty twenty. If you don't get the non-burnless one. <laughs> 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 Correction. It's twenty twenty two. Oh shit. Um, I didn't, I didn't realize they made it. I would have just stuck to the pain. I low-key like the pain sometimes because it reminds me to be me, careful. I was about to say, it makes me feel alive. Okay. <laughs> I told uh, my chiropractor oh. that... <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that was right there? <laughs> I didn't even notice that in the camera. I told my chiropractor that I walk around because I walk like five miles or whatever with the weighted vest. Because I, I said my shoulders were hurting. He was like, well, I think that's it. Why do you do that? And I was like, I don't know, just to feel something sometimes. He was like, okay. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> he said, I'm a chiropractor, not a therapist. <laughs> Wrong doctor. Why do you go to a chiropractor? You're that old? Um, actually, no. It's actually good to go now because when you get old, your spine's already formed. So it's like, deal with it. But now, because I, I worked, I work from home. And I would look down at my computer, so it was hurting right here. And so I basically just got, like, the thing you saw at home. Um, and then he... That rolly-looking thing? What? No, the thing that holds the laptop. Uh, he told you to get that or something? Yeah, because if you just put it on the desk, you're looking down the whole oh, time. Yeah. So you, that's why I got the laptop stand and the um, thing. Because you can't really type like that either. Yeah. So I tried to. Cause I, I didn't have your, I couldn't pull out the little flash drive that connects to the computer. What's the thing? Keyboard. The keyboard. I didn't have the little flash drive that connects to the key, uh, keyboard. I have it. No, yeah, but it was stuck in your laptop. I tried to pull whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not. That's not what it was. Oh, uh, what was that? That that one is for Facebook to like know where the computer is. <laughs> if you want to push, <laughs> set up alarms. <laughs> Well, if y'all didn't know, she works for Facebook from home, and I was trying to pull out her GPS, uh, apparently. Meta. <laughs> oh, Meta, Meta, my bad, my no, bad. No, but you can, it connects to, if you look at the That's top bad. left. That's bad. That's funny. No, I was, that's what I was like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? But um, at the top left, you can connect the computer or the keyboard to three different laptops. Wait, what? Oh, shit, really? Yeah, it has, like, the Bluetooth signal, and it has one, two, three. Mine's is one. And so it can connect to two other ones. I thought it was Bluetooth, but then I saw that flash drive looking thing somewhere. I was hanging that. on that shit too. <laughs> <laughs> they have that as well, but then um, my computer doesn't have the USB drive. So that means I have to uh, buy yeah, it. Oh, yeah, adapter. Yeah. I had to get an adapter. I was not doing that. No, I was just like, uh, I'm ready. I might as well get it out the way. Because I feel like, and it's kind of helpful because like, I'll plug in like three flash drive, an SD card. Yeah, one, but one I flash. don't need that though. Okay, yeah, but <laughs> if you don't need it, yeah. But me, I like, because I have, like, a bunch of shit everywhere. So sometimes I'll have, like, flash drive for my homework, homework, the SD card for the camera, and then the voice thing. That's, and, yeah. Yeah. That's helpful. 
But then sometimes I'm like, oh shit, I forgot this is a laptop. It could overheat and blow up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, the slightest That's thing, I, all you hear is that um, fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, bitch. I did that to my, whenever I had the, uh, what's the first one? The Mac Air? Mm-hmm. Yeah, whenever I had that one, oh man, I was running that bitch to the ground. That's how to get this new one. Because I kept on hearing the fan go mm-hmm. off every like 30 minutes. I'm like, all right, yeah. Yep. That's just like Honestly, a warning. Honestly, Apple Apple laptops, Apple in general is really not the best out of all of them. It's more like Samsung. You think? Now I think it literally is. Really? Yeah. Even even if you look at their camera, um, it's a lot better than Apple. So why is it ra- ratchet? It's ratchet because I don't know if this is true or not, but I remember someone saying that like the their pixel is really high and ours isn't. So like it doesn't download correctly into ours. So ours is basically a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, our, theirs is too high quality that ours makes it look bad. Yeah. But you finna switch to Samsung or Galaxy? Nope. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, man. Welcome Sucks to the. Up. This is the Therapy <laughs> Podcast, bro. We stay Apple on this side. Listen. Listen to what, nigga? I was just saying, listen Oh, like sure. <laughs> well, welcome back. My name is Sam. I'm your host, host as usual. Today, 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 we got a guest. Not just a guest, a blood guest. If y'all didn't know, this is my little sister, Blessing. Excuse me? My oldest sister, Blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'll let you take over. Hello. My name is Blessing. Um, I am his older sister. I graduated from UNT. What is it? Well, technically, I'm graduating this year in May. Is it going to say this year on your thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because I didn't submit my credits. Because I, um, I took French in undergrad, and I never submitted them. Until winter this year. Really? Well, technically winter last year, but it's still yeah. the semester, yeah. Are you serious? You're yeah. a dickhead. Honestly, I didn't want to graduate. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's not, no, it's not that I didn't want to graduate. I didn't care. Like At that point, I finished all my credits. I think I had one more credit that I took in the fall, and then all of that was online, the Quizlet and everything. Um, and then I was done. As far as I was concerned, I got. And then I got the job without even showing my degree. So yeah, it's like, that's what I was. I, I just figured, what do you call it? I just figured you graduated, and then you're just walking the stage. This. Nope. I technically finished all my credits. Thing like 2020, but I never. And then you also have to apply to graduate. Yeah. I never applied because to me, I thought if you apply, that means you want to walk. And it was already COVID. I was like, I'm not gonna walk. Nobody's gonna be here anyways. And then. Um, I think I was talking, I forgot what I was doing. I think I was applying to a higher position and they actually wanted to see my degree. And so I contacted the UNT um, guidance counselor or whatever. And they were like, oh no, you have to apply like to get your degree. Then they send you another one, another invitation to walk. They never specify that to me. Oh, yeah, that's kind of super. I feel like if you finish your credits... <laughs> It should just be like you automatically. It should. I mean, yeah, again, that's I told you. I tell you, technology is pretty smart sometimes, but other times it's stupid. No, that's a human error. <laughs> I don't think that's a human error. Well, yeah, because honestly, you can make something where it's yeah, like you can just make the software once you finish the credit. Yeah. Well, some people do a lot of credit, you know, because some people go over their hours, and so technically they're not graduated yet. They just went over. Like they probably took a couple classes multiple times. So technically, they're not graduated. I'm pretty so sure. I see I'm per- hey, man, if we can make a rocket ship to make itself fly to the moon, we <laughs> can sure somehow find out, hey, that credit didn't count. <laughs> this, one, this one did. I'm, I'm That's, sure we can, but. Hell no. Yeah, it, it threw me off, too, because I'm thinking, like, I don't, does everyone do that? I don't, I don't want to think I it's a UNT thing. I really don't think it's a UNT thing. I know everyone you have to apply to graduate, mm-hmm. but I just I assume graduation is walking the stage. That's what I common assume. Sense is yeah. If I turn in all my shit and I have a seventy and above, obviously I want to graduate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, and then why would you have to apply? That's like implying that you don't want to graduate after you did everything. And they'll keep it there, like you'll have it. Like, like some let's say niggas. no, let's say that I actually I don't I think there is a time limit. Maybe there's a time limit for you to come back to school because I know you can leave for like a year and you don't have to apply. No, up to a year, so less than a year. So if you leave for like a semester and then come back, you don't have to reapply. But if you leave for more than a year, then you have to apply. Reapply to be a student at mm-hmm. UNT? Yeah. That's lame as hell. So maybe, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure like, I would want to say it's different. Like if you, like if I never turned in my credits, I could come in like four years and be like, oh yeah, here are my credits. Give me my degree. Cause you can't take that away. Plus, I no, pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? 
That's funny, honestly. Because I know you had to apply to walk in high school, so I thought it was the same thing. Do we? I don't remember. Damn, I, I didn't even remember that. I don't know why I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really don't know why I remember that. I just always thought like apply means RSVP to walk. I mean, yeah, just it yeah. makes sense, yeah. though, especially if it's like. Cause, and you could pick um, when you want to walk. When you apply for graduation, it says graduate in like spring or fall. At least oh, yeah. it asked me or asked me summer or something else. Yeah, that's what. So that's how I just assumed that. It's the, I think it's different for you. Like if you have all your credits, then you can only walk. Like I think it only gives you the option to walk. It gave only me. It gave me the um, option to walk in May only. And so I think because like maybe you have like one credit right that you have mm-hmm. to do. Yeah, then it gives you the mm. option to do that. Because if that's the case, well, I don't know. Either way, that's yeah. a shitty system. <laughs> that's funny. So does mom know? Does mom know what? That you oh, um, I don't know. I think bless it. That's kind of stupid, bro. It's stupid, so but like I was. So I you graduate. So like your thing is gonna say twenty twenty two with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're a loser. <laughs> I'm just that dude, bro. I was just tired. Like, I was tired with school. COVID just hit. Like, nah, bro. It was just a lot. And I was just like, and then I think that was fall 2020. And then, of course, it's New Year's. You get the New Year's blues. And then February 2020, I got a job. So I was like, fuck it. I don't need this. I work for fucking Facebook. I don't need a fucking degree from UND. Meta. <laughs> oh, wow. That job was Facebook. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, their so, whole name changed to Face. I mean, changed to Meta? Mm hmm. Facebook's whole name changed to men? No. So Facebook owns Instagram, WhatsApp, and I think something else. Twitter? Um, oh, no. He just sold that. No, that's... No, he never owned Twitter. Twitter was a different guy. Uh, yeah. I think he tried to buy... Dudes. He tried to buy Twitter and Instagram, but it didn't work out. Or not Instagram. Um, TikTok. Um, and, of course, I'm glad they didn't let him because that's a lot to have in one company. But basically, they called it Facebook, and it's like, it's not just Facebook, though, because it's Instagram... Um, WhatsApp and whatnot. So Meta is called. Oh, uh, it's the company all of them. Under, yeah, and then everything else still has the same name. Oh, I got tired I of thought, explaining that to people. Man. <laughs> I thought Meta was like a, another universe. Metaverse? Nah. Yeah. Nah, Meta. Oh nah, sure. No more you fucking know. Blessing, you do know you're a fucking dickhead, right? What I do? You plug these in into the wrong things. You plug these into the two middle ones, and you plug these into the two out ones. Oh, is that supposed to, like, are you supposed to plug it into the right one? I mean, yeah. What will happen? What happened? If there's people plugged, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but, like, (laughs) it's just organization's sake. Well, because it was actually like this at first. So now I wanted this headphone to be closer to me and that one to be closer to you. Uh, That was my logic. I don't know. The hell? Did you teach me anything? You were supposed to have this set up before I came. So, yeah, I thought you, well, so you didn't even know how to graduate. I can't even blame you. That's what you get for. I'm not even surprised. Facebook is a trash ass app. No wonder the how you're Well, they do have Facebook and Instagram, not undergraduates. They have, what, what are those people called? Um, what are those people called? Little kids that they don't pay interns. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm thinking like Facebook has child labor. What? <laughs> hey man, damn near basically. I really do feel like internship is child labor. But they're not child. I'm a child of God. Oh, preach. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, like, come, like, come to you at a prime age of whatever. You say you're clearly not living in your parents' house yeah. anymore. So it's like, you expect me to give you 40 hours a week and get nothing? How else am I supposed to get paid? Get How do I live? Job. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Why don't sleep? Who needs that? <laughs> that's a stupid question. <laughs> what? Idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> nah. That's why I never did internships. Honestly, this whole, like... Same thing, like, this whole last year, or not even last year, last semester, bro, was a fucking, like, kept on telling Betty, I was like, bro, I, I might not finish this semester. Yeah. I might just, like, I don't think so. The first month, I didn't turn in a single assignment, because I literally didn't have the motivation or, like, the spirit to open my laptop and look mm-hmm. at Canvas. And I was just like, bro, this shit's fuck. it's, like, draining. I was like, yeah, yeah I'm done with this shit. And I was just like, bro, it's your last semester. Don't be a bitch. Right? Like, <laughs> like, you're already here, bro. Like, you might as well. 
but I see it because I would hear things about people like dropping out their last semester or they only had one more course. But it's like now, nah, like I see nah, it. No, bro, like, I that actually one get course that is like one hour from a mental breakdown. <laughs> like, oh my Not God. even one hour. I already have multiple yeah. mental breakdowns. Like, uh. Nah, I totally understand, and that's that's how I felt. I feel like some of my teachers were little bitches this semester. That's what I'm saying, especially <sighs> when COVID hit and I was doing online courses. It's like, what are y'all doing? Yeah, like, like, what are y'all actually doing here? <laughs> like I've had like uh, it's like half and half. I've had one one of my yeah. What are we talking about? I forgot. Uh, literally, for now, shoot at. But uh, well, if y'all don't realize the what's this called? This shit died again, bro. The Zoom. The Zoom. Kate had died. I'm sorry, bro. I told Kate it would never die again. Bro, some girl commented on our YouTube page, and she was like, can we start a GoFundMe? Because, like, the first three episodes just kept dying. And I was like, can we start a GoFundMe for decent batteries for them? No, please. And I was like, at first I was kind of salty, but then I was like, hey, that means she's watched every single one of our podcasts. <laughs> I was like, shit. <laughs> Fuck it. But, nah. Uh, well, we're talking about college. So, how do you feel about, like, post-college? Because you, you, you don't really use your major for Facebook or Meta. Not now, but I definitely am going to in the future. Because I didn't realize there was um, a space for my... By the way, my major was psychology and minor in sociology. I couldn't choose. Because uh, I think psychology is, like, the study of... You know, I'm not going to say it because I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. So, look it up. Psychology is the study of mind. And, and sociology is the study of... People around people, pretty yeah. much. Cause I like to, I like to. How's that your major, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the thing. I, I just like both of them, and then like I like to see what makes people tick, and I want to know why they do like what they do. Mm-hmm. And I honestly think like it's gonna sound psychotic, but I honestly think like we all have like some like serial killer evil side of us, and I want to know why that is, you know. And I also want to know like, and I I want to know that not to piss you off so you can kill me, yeah. but so I can like nurture you into not doing that, like learn how to cage that side of you right but um what was i saying oh meta um no but there, it's called like data research and so you want to that basically what he um explained to me it's like you study why how, how would i say this you study why people click on things pretty much yeah like, basically and, like and then like you try a, to make it like user friendly yeah. and see, like for instance that um skip button on netflix w- that you skip the intro that one girl worked um and she was like a data researcher and she was like people kept they noticed that people kept skipping every time and so they're like what's the next best thing for us to do insert that and then all the techie people do all the like coding yeah. and stuff so yeah. i didn't realize that like was a thing i thought like all the techie people did everything but um either that or project management which is exactly what it sounds like you're managing a project um but no i don't really use my degree afterwards but that's also because like i thought you could only be a psychiatrist or a yeah. therapist but you can do a lot that's lucky i'm a sociology one of my we're kind of twins if y'all didn't realize well how old are you 26 i was gonna say 25 wait yeah you're old how old am i 23 yeah we're pretty much twins 26 23 sociology minor i'm a sociology major one of minor criminal justice and history mm-hmm. and right now my class i'm taking is data collecting it's pretty much it's like sociology with data quanti- quantitative data mm-hmm. that's what it is and so when you were saying that i was just like all i saw was um scatter plots in my head See, I wish I took those classes. I didn't take any no, of them. No, fuck no. And honestly, I kind of did take the the route of a psychiatrist because um, I thought that's all you could do as a. They said that you can do that, or you can be a professor, or you can be a teacher, or whatever. But they never mm-hmm. said anything about like outside of whatever that is. Yeah, I feel like a sociology with a minor in like human resources would be in a good mix too. Yeah. Or like in business. That would have been. Would've Especially been. business. Yeah. yeah. See, but they don't tell you shit like that. They you just don't gotta tell learn. You shit, right? Yeah, like right now in LinkedIn, I have like random ass people hitting me up and like to be like stuff like that. I'm just like, man, I thought I had to be a, like either a, we call it going to law or be a criminal justice, like be a cop, teacher, professor, or a therapist or something. That would shit. actually be really good for cops. Man, don't even get me started, cops. Like the fact that lawyers. Like if you if mentally you're not like all right, 
they can stop you from like being a lawyer and taking yeah. a bar exam. But with cops, they what is it like sixty days or six months or something? Yeah. And you're a cop, and it's like, bitch, the fuck? A fucking bleak of an eye. You just need a little certificate. <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> that shit crazy. And it's not even like like I get it if that was like the army because I feel like a lot of people don't don't want to go out there and like die for America. No offense, but like it's the cops. Like we see them every, every day. day yeah. Like what the fuck? Like I feel like there should be like more intense process for that. Or like a, or not even. Yeah, like process leading up to it. Yeah, fuck the test and shit. Like, I mean, common sense. I, you don't really need to know much of the laws, I think. But I'm like, bro, like, make sure you're feeling good. Make sure you wake, woke up and you're at least kind of like, happy. Hello. Like, you're not just going on a killing <laughs> spring today. Like, or like you see those cops who have like big, not even big dick energy, more like little dick energy, yeah. and you can tell like they were bullied in high school, and yeah. now it's like, oh look, I have a gun, I'm a cop, and it's like, okay, you're still a bitch, but. Yeah. Like, <laughs> And it's like sometimes it's not even like yeah the cops that kill are bad but like some of these guys are just like big ass bullies like they got bullied some of them and they're just like rules like well you have to listen to me I'm like bro like relax bro, I see these videos of people like the cops be like oh you gotta move and he's like why he's like oh it's against the law he's like what law and he's like it's against the law the cops like it's against the law the guy's like what law well, yeah <laughs> like what is it so you're right you don't even have to know the law it's just like be a decent human being especially as a fucking cop man. Hey, more power, more responsibilities. Isn't that um, what Spider Man Uncle Ben said? Or greater. Something about responsibility. Greater yeah. power. I don't know, man. No, it was the uh, Uncle <laughs> Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben, man. That, guy, that guy's dead. I didn't know you caught that. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not her knowing her Marvels. No, no, uh, no. you don't like Batman. That's who it is. Yeah, he's, he's DC. So yeah. I don't like Batman. It's just like, I don't like. like I like we grew up with Justice League, the cartoon one, and that was better than like some of these. Oh yeah, Justice League was hard. That's why I was very upset whenever they did the live action. It was. Decent. I didn't watch it. Yeah, it was. There's a lot of things I'm not watching. Like I feel like these are for like children of now. Like we can't like for instance the the Will Smith one. I forgot. What it was, I think it's like Fresh Prince or Bel Air. It's called Bel Air. It's basically like a not a spin off, but it's. A remix. Like, yeah and then will smith i think he produced it and whatever i'm not i'll watch it but i'm not going in there thinking like this is what we were watching when we were young or even like the live action lion king i know it got beyonce in it but i'm not watching it you didn't watch it i'm not watching it why not because i don't think it's gonna be good what do you like, mean I bro have, it's been out for like over a year but i'm not watching it <laughs> like you I mean, have, but you I, said i'm not watching it like it's about to come out no i'm not Okay, I will never watch it. Really? <laughs> no, because I feel like I'm I'm going to look at it. What I tell people is that you're not speaking to 26 year old me. You're speaking. Whenever I look at these things that I watch when I was a child, you're speaking to that year old me, and I'm going to have this type of like high expectation for it. And when it doesn't fulfill it, I'm like, this movie sucks. But it doesn't suck. It's just it's not what I watched, and it's cool because it's different. You got different. Some of them are different actors, different producers, different directors. So it's going to be different. I just want to watch it. I mean, it. I don't think it was that. Mm. I don't remember it. I think it I wasn't even it. memorable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't good. No, I'm pretty sure I only watched it once. I think I watched it. I was like, it was cool that it was live action, but. Mm. But like, I mean, even that must like shit on Disney because like Luca, that that was the new one that came out, that little mermaid boy. No, I didn't watch that. Just watch it. It's pretty I good. Vespas. I want to go to Italy and ride Vespas. They're just scooters, motorbikes. But I'm, I'm not a fan of Disney right now. They're putting what? too much out for me. And they're That's all musical. Choose. And they're all musicals. I'm not a fan bro, of musicals. High school musical, the musical. I said, what the fuck is this? Yeah, bro. <laughs> you literally read a musical about a musical. Uh, <laughs> Just do a, the musical. Uh, I'm not a fan of music every 30, not every 30 minutes, every like other like scene. No, no, no. That, they'd be like, uh, this is sad. Why so, am I feeling yeah. so wrong? wrong? My head is game, but my heart's in the song. You make it feel. So, I'm like, nigga, just throw the basketball. Like, what are you doing? Like, I don't got time for that. And that makes it 10 times longer. Yes. I'm but, like, I mean, if the plot is good, I'll watch it. I'm mm-hmm. not even going to lie. I, I like a good musical. There was one that Michael told me to watch, and it was good, but it was pissing me off. Because, like, this is- every emotion the main character yep. had, there was a musical for it. I'm just like, because it was getting good, good, good musical. I'm like, all right, bro. Was it? Um, it was something about, like, their ancestors. They all get secret powers. Oh. Um, and there was, like, a green rock involved or a green plate or something green. Damn. I know. Why Why am I missing the name? Because it's big now. It's the Bruno. Yeah. He's like, you don't, what? You don't like that. 
I mean, it was. I liked the plot, but the music it was too much, bro. Mm, no, I liked it. No, nah, <laughs> like, but I want, like I'm really anti musicals. Like every See, Disney. So you wouldn't go to like a Broadway movie or Broadway Hell musical nah. thing? You wouldn't Are go you see serious? Hamilton? No, what the fuck is that? It's a play. It's actually a really big That's play. ten times longer than a movie. No, actually they're very long, but they do have intermissions though. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like no, I don't do musicals. I remember someone's like, Would you like to go to opera with us? I'm like, ah, hey. I don't know if I'd do an opera. I'll do an opera one time just to do it. Nah, but like not going to opera, theater, or symphony? Or orchestra. I'll go to that. But that's like no words though. Well, yeah. But see, I that's like the, vibe. Yeah, it's a vibe. <laughs> yeah, that's a vibe. <laughs> like and you go there like dressed all nice yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I think that's only because I played the viola in high school and shit. I remember you did. Yeah, that's not shit's a nerd. Lit. Or no. I played the clarinet. <laughs> oh, that's lame. <laughs> lame as hell. I wanted to do the drums, but mom wouldn't buy it because there was a lot of things that you had to buy. Mom didn't want to buy it. So what it did like, you have to buy with the drums? It was a set. <laughs> drum sets are expensive like it's just like four drums they're expensive really? it's it's not like the ones you see kids playing with yeah. like these were like real things no yeah i remember like yeah i remember probably or even that one that they have on their waist yeah you have to take out a lot of money just to be in the music or in music i remember saying, yeah i remember arson was like a thousand dollars if something breaks like a string breaks bro. that's a smooth 200 bro it's like what the fuck no wonder why our parents didn't want to yeah. <laughs> And thank God, like, uh, our school gave us, like, a decent, um, like, professors or mm-hmm. teachers. So, like, if your shit was out of tune, they knew how to make it yeah. back. Or they always had extra shit. Yep. Like, if they, like, if we lived in, like, not to shit on Dallas, but, like, Dallas where they don't like pay too much. Be, yeah. Yeah. P- uh, too much attention to, like, music and shit the like arts, that. Yeah. yeah, the arts. Yeah, they're, like. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Go fix it or get out of my class type shit. Honestly, I would if I were to be a teacher, I would be like, I'll teach something, but I want to be like an art teacher. Like one of those teachers that do both. Really? I, I mm-hmm. don't think. Not art. Like actually art. I would think like more theater. I would do it. I would be a theater teacher. Right. I'll be a football history coach. Oh, brother. <laughs> this guy if strikes. Any, if I, <laughs> or it's football and um, sex ed. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that was That was... What coach is that? We the didn't have guy? sex ed in school. We, I definitely had oh, sex ed. Oh, you did. Samuel, we, you were, was I was a senior, you were a freshman? Yeah. There's no way they took it out. What are you talking about? Yeah. There's no way they took it out. Blessing. We had sex ed. Blessing. You went to meet, did you go to meet medieval times for fourth grade? Yes, you went to medieval times. Did I you, didn't go. And I was literally. Did y'all go to Six Flags in n- fifth? No. Did y'all go to, um, what's Bro, that camp? We, we live in the fucking um, Michelle time, so like all that shit got watered uh, down. We couldn't yeah. have no good food. Not to shout out Michelle, but she was doing good things. It's not her fault. Kids were getting fat and dying. But it's like, so like what you experienced and what <laughs> I experienced, I experienced like all the watered down lame shit. Cause I remember yeah. you, you and Glass would tell me all this shit. I'm like, oh yeah, let's go. And, I and I'll you. get you. I'm like, all right. I was like, okay, okay. Sixth grade, we got this. No, we're not doing that. I'm like, what the fuck? Damn. School is lame as hell for me. Damn. Unless if, you, unless if you're like an extra like curriculum, curriculum shit. Mm-hmm. Like Avid. Avid, we did some shit. Yeah. Avid, but, you were an Avid? Yeah. Oh. But I just did it because I wanted to leave school. Yeah. I didn't know how to do Avid. I want to, I just keep, I just know every now and then they'll be like, in the, what's up, intercom, they'll be like, okay, Avid kids, let's go. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I remember this one guy, Ryan Cass, he, oh God, he was such a fucking dick. I didn't even know what Avid was, but he would make you feel so stupid. And every time, like, oh, you know, Avid and Avid, we did this. I'm like, bitch, shut up. <laughs> I feel like Avid wasn't nothing. The only thing I remember about Avid is how you take notes. The Cornell? And, oh my god that shit was annoying but i mean they started out early because i think in high school which i don't understand why i they was did this a good in high school. taker yeah <laughs> I was, see i was very good but i didn't use the cornell shit but like i guess i used mm-hmm. you didn't use like the actual structure but yeah. like the, i used the idea of yeah. it i guess i did do like a summary but i'll take notes and i divided my notes up exactly so yeah yeah and i knew how to ask questions i ain't sure look at it man i, I can't know. honestly i i honestly could have been a good student I just, <laughs> I just always knew how to finesse. And like ever even since Avid, I just finesse. No, like ever since junior year of high school, I've never written a paper myself. I've always just like searched the subject, copied it, read it, paraphrased it, and then read the paper that I saw online, 
paraphrase it and the lowest grade i've ever gotten on a paper what well, was zero because i didn't turn it in but mm-hmm. the one that i did turn in <laughs> that would happen <laughs> listen <laughs> to do it. the one that i did turn in the lowest i've ever made was an 80 and it will and i'll make up some bullshit sources and whatnot some of the words won't even match the source that i did and they're talking about um i forgot what we had to that thing you had to turn it in things like turn it in.com or something yeah, yeah. that looked over it and they'll be like zero uh, uh zero what is it called plagiarism yeah. detected i was like you stupid bitch because <laughs> <laughs> the entire shit. paper is fake <laughs> like are you dumb Dude. and ever since i learned that i said oh i'm not writing a paper ever again see i love writing papers my first bro my freshman year i wrote a 10 page paper over red lighting what's it's like pretty much um mm, sounds so familiar yeah it's like um gentrification of like the 19th uh, okay it's pretty much it was like um black people weren't allowed to live in these certain areas mm-hmm. and they they didn't say it but they were like Oh, you can't they afford it. You. Yeah, they type they, shit. They, 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 they. And then when I was like, bro, whenever I did that, I turned it in to my teacher. They're like, my teacher was like, she called me a nerd without saying it. She's like, wow, you like writing, don't you? I was like, what type of bullshit? Is that? Give me my grade, nigga. <laughs> The no, but yeah. See, when, I remember you told me that, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna do that," and I started doing it. Nice. But then I just started reading the article. I'm like, "Wow, this is interesting." That's the thing. Like, I would read these articles. Like, if I was really into it, like I did abortion, and that's. I feel like I was the complete opposite because I would read the articles and I'm like, "Oh, I love this." Like, let me start writing. And then I'll get bored halfway, and I'm like, "Yeah, not even halfway." I'm doing the intro uh, paragraph, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not doing this shit." So yeah. I'm just going copy something else. And then if I found something that like. If in the paper they quoted something wrong that I read in the article, then I'll fix it. But, like, I'm not writing a whole paper. <laughs> Got better shit to do with my time. Honestly, I'm really surprised that I even graduated. Because <laughs> the way I finesse the fuck, like, I, the only classes I remember are my psychology and sociology classes. I didn't take those until, like, the end of my college career because you have to do, like, the, the basics your first yeah. two careers or first two years. Um, and then I was bored by then, so I was like, oh, whatever. So I read the books and stuff. It's fun. Really? I like reading. Like, that's the thing. I actually really love reading and I love learning. I used to say that like, if I could just go to school, like I don't want to take the test. I don't want to do all the like um, papers and stuff. If I, if I can just go to school, take notes, sit in class and just like learn, I would love to do that. It's the papers and the test. That's, that's the shit that really gets to me. See, I'm kind of like, I'm there but halfway. If I could go to school and not read or take tests, I would enjoy it more. Mm-hmm. Like, this semester, I did not buy a single book because I knew I wasn't going to read it. Even Like, they're a sign, and they're like, you need this. I'm like, no, y'all need it. Cause y'all don't <laughs> no, <know how> <laughs> you need my money. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, not even that. I'm like, the other students need it. Like, I'm, I'm in a soci. I know and I want to be in sociology since high school. So I was like, mm-hmm. I know how to cheat the system. No, and bad. like, I just did a couple of searches. And it, the thing that pisses me off, blessing, bro, let me tell you. <laughs> My teacher trying to assign a two hundred dollar like fifth edition book, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't buy it because I was like, "Fuck that! I'm not buying books." Every fucking module, she put the notes in. Yeah, and I'm just like, so you want me to go spend money? Mm-hmm. And then I learned out it was her book that she was. Um, ah, I'm like, bro. that's kind of smart though. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh no, one hundred percent respect it, respect business wise, but fuck you, also <laughs> respectfully, because I was like, dude. And that shit has happened like at least once a semester. A teacher signs a hella expensive book. That's theirs. Or a professor. Let me not disrespect them. And I'm just like, dude, like that's that's the biggest scam. One good business move. No Marvel. bad. Especially Marvel. if they make it. Because for, for a very long time, I used to um, buy books because they just said required yeah. on the syllabus. Until like I realized, bitch, what am I doing? I don't have this type of money. <laughs> the fuck? Or they, or they send you to YouTube links. They huh? put, they to put like PowerPoint links, YouTube oh. links, or like they put their actual notes. I'm just like that was that was junior year. I found out about YouTube. I was like, what the fuck is this? YouTube? What do you mean? You like they send YouTube links? Like none of my professors ever sent me YouTube. Oh, uh, okay. Before. I told junior year. I thought yeah. you didn't. You never knew of YouTube. <laughs> what is YouTube? I was like, what the fuck? Let's. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what'd you do in high meta. school <laughs> yeah i was like, <laughs> I was like no nah, like ah school's just i mean me, me and kate were talking about this last week that like you really don't need an education unless if you're going to be like 
a lawyer, doctor, teacher, nurse, shit like that. Yeah. Everything else you can honestly just learn on YouTube. And you can get a well, I wouldn't say learn on YouTube, but you can get a certificate. Yeah, that. And then even that, if you're confused, go on YouTube. I would or Google it. <laughs> Yeah, there's just so many lessons on, like, I always tell people, like, to, for this podcast, mm-hmm. I'm like, I just did YouTube University. No bad. No, like, you just got to YouTube. I always say YouTube because I would like reading. So I read yeah. someone talk to me and tell me how to do it. And they, like, go step by step by Some step. Some really do. Bro, that should be clutch as hell for me. Cause I'm, like a, I'm a visual learner, too. So, I, like, I need someone to tell me, go into that, because, like, whenever my SD card was fucking up, mm-hmm. they are like, go to the top right, the thing that looks like a um, suitcase. Mm-hmm. Click that. <laughs> go to the five pages, and then they That's click five. That's literally the, yeah. the, how I learned the format. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ah, ah, ah. It's nice. And then they were like, and there obviously it says delete, and, but they will be like, make sure you click delete all or some shit like that. Yeah. I'm just like, bro, God bless you, man. You really helped me today. <laughs> no, honestly, I used to feel type away because recently um, I've been like looking up content stuff. And I remember I listened to this one podcast. Um, I'm not going to shout her out, but she's a good podcast. But Is it um, a criminal p- podcast? No, it's not criminal. It's just a girl that uh. li- just talks about her life and shit. But um, she was talking about like content creating and how she what is like where she is and what she did and she was talking about like don't dm people and ask them like how do i start a podcast or how mm. do i become a content creator or how do i do this she's like literally google that shit literally youtube that shit. in fact even there's some content creators where their niche is teaching you how to become a content creator so like when you said the whole um, youtube university and shit i like at first i was a little like mm, but you can help them a little bit but then once i sit down and thought about it it's like there's actually a lot of resources out here to help you i mean i would help the way i would help them someone asked me about it they asked me about the lights people asked me about certain things Mm -hmm. i had to send them the website i use if it's something easy like where'd you get your lights i'm not gonna be like look it up i'll just send you the uh, link to amazon but someone's like how did you know what camera you want to use and I just sent them the YouTube link of what I watch. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to sit down here and write and your paragraph. To you. Yeah, but see, like, some people are like, okay, well, how do you set up your lights? Okay, how, what settings are your camera on? What this and that? And it's yeah. like, well, first of all, they're a different complexion than you. Yeah. So their lights set, set up is probably going to be different than yours. But also, it's literally just look it up. Even, like, when I'm scrolling and playing around. My, You're just playing around. Exactly. And error. Exactly. Like, even when I'm um, going through my For You page, I see lighting tips and whatnot. And I save it for later. Mm-hmm. But it's like, Nah, I get you're coming from because it's really easy to get the resources, get the answers you're looking for. It's really, especially nowadays, like TikTok, you said. Mm-hmm. Uh, like every once in a while, if my For You page gets a little too wild, I'll just go into like the search bar, type in like influencer, and just like a bunch of influencer shit work yeah. out just to get my For You page back on track of what I like looking. And like, I mean, I like watching funny shit sometimes, but sometimes I'd rather just look at like things to motivate yeah you. things to motivate me or things just to like i could look at so if i do catch myself like in off track whenever i hop on social media mm-hmm. social media actually helps me get yeah. back on track instead of oh, like leading me off back more <laughs> or that one girl is like you've been scrolling for quite a while oh, yeah you? and i'm just like bitch shut up right and they i scroll and then i'm like damn I she kind of <laughs> right <laughs> damn okay i haven't seen her in a while but i remember the first time i saw her i was like hey bro like mind your own business like, hello isn't this like invasion of privacy or yeah. something like <laughs> I, that was not a good thing for tiktok it was but it was like mm. or it's whenever netflix is like uh are you still watching i'm like, like damn nigga yeah did i exit out the app or like hello <laughs> goodbye play and that's uh, what i like about the new update is that like it gives you three options it gives you yes yes don't ask again <laughs> and then no i was every time yes don't, don't ask, ask again, again. <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch, fucking making me feel even, bad for even even my day literally hit, yes don't ask again turn around and go to sleep <laughs> yeah <laughs> like are you ah is it your light bill leave me alone exactly <laughs> youtube i think youtube started doing that too a little bit yeah because sometimes i'm working of course i'm working i like listening to music and i just it stops and i'm like what yeah. the fuck and it's like are you still watching it's like yeah I'm like did i pause it <laughs> okay you're the only one that paused it bitch i wonder why they well i mean i kind of get it too because like <laughs> something i don't like about hulu i forgot what anime i was watching but i was trying to fight sleep and i woke up and i think i was like season one when i went to sleep when i woke up i was like it's season three yeah. i was like what the fuck <laughs> like so like i like to some extent i get it 
but i don't know and there's really no way for them to really tell like what you're doing so i guess i see it i mean just i mean the fbi fbi listens to us just listen to me if i'm snoring tend to bitch off if i'm not you know i know they do listen to us but then i saw something and it's like they're not really they have like what's it called keywords, um, keywords that yeah. they're looking for the things that we think are fbi are cookies when you leave crumbs on the internet yeah that's what it is but that's not even fbi that's just algorithm if you would that's more a businessman just trying to look for what to put in your yep <laughs> that's why if you type it like oh my god my whole fo- oh like if i go on instagram all i see is like furniture and podcast stuff i don't like instagram is more like the algorithm is so like tough if that makes sense because like mm. with, with tiktok you can if you don't like your um what's shown on your for you page you just go like a whole bunch of stuff mm. but with instagram it's like it, that's gonna stay on there for a minute no yeah it stays yeah. there for a while but I don't really, I really don't go on the explore page a lot. But every once, I, every time I do go on there, I do see like a bunch of like girly stuff. Just because I feel like I follow more girls. You know, every girl's like hashtag makeup, hashtag this, hashtag, hashtag that. that girl. Yeah. <laughs> and so whenever I go on my explore page, it would be like workout <laughs> or like some some girl do like a makeup tutorial. I'm just like. And my dumbass actually watched it. I'm like, this is interesting. Because I'm like, oh, shit, how'd she do that, bitch? That's how I know how shadowing is. Or there's something called like a, I think. Contour? Came, nah, I know what contour is. She told me about that. It's like something, you could, it's like a, it's called something backlash or some shit like that. Where it's like fill in here and then goes over here. Fucking I don't know what her. the name is. Fucking fine. It's like a shadowy look or something. Is it like an eyeshadow name? Yeah. It's like a design. Yeah, I have no idea. Ah, oh, man. I know what you're talking about, but I didn't realize it had a name to it. No, no, it has a name to it. <laughs> I've seen it like at least three, four times within the last week. <laughs> hey, man. If you ever need your makeup done, I'm your dude. Yeah, I'd rather not, but thanks. you Me, fun. who's been doing makeup since... They, what, oh, remember when we did that um, modeling thing in middle school? Oh, shit. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I think we could have gone far if, if, like, we actually stuck to that shit. At least me. Damn, you low key been some like content creators. How the fuck did I forget about that? No, no, no. damn, that would have been lit. It would have been fucking lit. I thought they were a scam. And that's the thing. Mom thought it was two. And when we got our first snow, she's like, "I'm never," because I think we had to drive to the Hilton by the Galleria Mm -hmm. from home, and um. She, I just realized that I said where we lived. I mean, you're not, I don't know if people stalk you, but. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I remember the first time we heard no, mom's like, I'm never doing this again. And like, even like then I, I realized that like from those little things, and I'm sure they didn't do it to harm us, but those little things, like whenever I hear no the first time I want to give up or if it's too tough, I want to give up because not like it's their fault or parents fault or anything, but like stuff like that if they said no or if it didn't look good it's immediately like let's switch but i remember we got our first no because there's a whole bunch of kids and some of these kids were like really talented yeah. and they've been doing this shit for a minute yeah we just then, showed like, up like hey hello i think it was a great experience too so i feel like if we had like if gladys if gladys was like our our momager we would have done some big shit momager Momager. Mom, mom manager. manager. Okay. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you never heard no, that before? No, I have. I was like, is that what she said or did I just miss her? <laughs> no, you're right. Mom or si- sister. Si- si- mm, I like momager. Singer. I like sister. Sounds, like, sounds like a knockoff of Tinder. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, I don't even know if that would be sin, sinful people. You date sinful people. Sinful. No, let's go with momager. <laughs> momager. Glasses is pretty much our mom yeah dang i totally forgot about that that would have been fun it was cool though i do kind of remember it mm-hmm. and i remember were you there with um gladys when she worked at dillard's and they did the modeling thing i don't remember that i think it might have been <clears throat> older but i remember i did it i think it was a freshman year of high school for me mm-hmm. it was like freshman or something no no that's kind of you're in college because it was my junior year it was my junior year of college. Oh, my No, yeah. Oh, well, you wouldn't because you were at, at school. Oh. Uh, but uh, no, nah, damn, I should have been a model. Uh-huh. All right, next topic. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like, honestly. What would you could, say? Oh, go ahead. What would you say is the big, 
three biggest life lessons you learned from mom and dad good or and bad good or bad three one even though i'm not like the best with money there are certain things that like like i still like to have like a rainy day fund and i remember like from jump it was always like savings account and just like having money just make sure you have money at least like you can spend some shit but just make sure you still have something to come back to so that would be one two mm, honestly i don't think it's something that like I don't even know how to like, express this. I don't know if it's like a life lesson or whatever, but I would hear kids, especially with African um, parents, be like, oh, you know, our parents never said they loved us. You know, we never really saw that like loving relationship, whatever. And I'm really, really happy that mom and dad like always showed affection towards each other in front of us. And like every time we hang up, mom would be like, okay, I love you. Or even I love you. And then dad would do the same thing. And so, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I love you too, whatever. But like, I'm really glad they did that. You know? And I always hear that, like, on Twitter and stuff, like, I never seen, like, African parents' kids. I was like, when I heard that, I'm like, shit, are we not African? Bro, I, cause I, <laughs> cause I was like, wait, because everything they say was, like, polar opposite, I feel like. Especially, like, mom, mom wanted us to go into, like, nursing and medicine. Yeah. Dad wanted us to go. They wanted us to do that, but they didn't, like... At least Pushing me. Us, yeah, they yeah. didn't, like, shun us or, like, they forced it on us. Mm-hmm. It was something they really wanted. But once we were like, no, I really want to do this, they were just like, okay, just do yeah. it. Yeah. And, like, I was just like, and remember, I remember that he really wanted me to do, like, political science. Mm-hmm. And I did, I just put it down on a um, paper for whenever I was going on a, like, track, um, visit. Whenever I was going on a mm-hmm. track visit, you have to put your major. Yeah. I just put it down. And then they asked me, what do I want to do? I'm like, my dad told me. And they're like, well, what do you want to do? Yeah. And I told them. And they're like, all right, then do that. I was like, so I changed it. I told dad. And he was like, no. I was like, well, I want to do that. He was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh. I was like, it's like that? <laughs> Little pressure? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I was you like, it. okay. <laughs> and it was like really strange because whenever I talk to other um, Africans or Nigerians, not even Africans, just other Nigerians, their parents are like, yeah, I have to be a nurse. I yeah. have to be a doctor or, or they won't like pay my schooling yeah. and help me I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, damn. I, as soon as I feel like as soon as I took OCAM, I said, Yeah, this doctor shit is not for me. No, I knew <laughs> I, I I would have gave dad the political science. I could thug that out. Yeah. That's basically what I'm doing, but the doctor. Bro, nah. even in high school I was like, yeah. I was I just like, wanna do it. No. Like I, like kudos to everyone who can, but it's just like I can't oh, imagine myself cool. like putting scrubs on and going in and dealing with people all the day. Oh no, I could do. Mm, I could kind of do that. I'm talking mm-hmm. about the classes, not even the just basic the biology. Classes, classes would. I don't. I don't like biology. I like chemistry more. That shit can kiss my ass too. I like chemistry Make more. Shit explode and stuff. But still, that shit was tough yeah. as fuck. I know this girl that's like something medicine with a engineer in there. Is it like biochemistry? Yeah, not biochemistry. No. Um, bio magnet. Fuck, mechanics. Biomechanics. Nah, oh, fucking no. <sighs> I just know it's a lot of math and science. I don't know. Man, a lot of letters. I mean, yeah, letters. I'm just like, I thought math was numbers. That's what I'm saying, I'm confused. dude. And then they do shapes. I'm like, mm. Mm. It's not algebra. <laughs> not Bro, algebra. I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, yo, like props to y'all but i could never yeah and they just be looking miserable like i think i look miserable yeah but they're freshmen coming in just looking like like they just age way faster because they're so fucking stressed i'm just like dude is it worth it for some people it really is they i mean they know and that's the thing that's like what i love about people who just know what they want to do it's like they might not know like all the work that has to go to be what they want to be but because they want to do that because that's something that they've always wanted they're like they'll put up with it more props to them. right but well, say your third thing third is. third 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 would be like i think it was 20 i'll say like 20 18 through like now even just realizing that like again this is not i don't think it's something they intentionally meant to teach me but like they're human you know mm, it's like because yeah. i always used to 
no matter i remember ugh, i might even tear up but like i just always looked at mom like a freaking super like see this girl was like a nurse not this girl this woman is a nurse she goes out there and she takes care of people all the time dad he does his business shit and then he, they come back and then they take care of us and then like and they're fucking amazing at it and it's like wow you are you're fucking amazing man and you can tell me shit like even now like you can talk to your therapist about some of the stuff i talked to my therapist about some of the stuff i've been through and um she was like oh that's that's it's pretty sad it's pretty fucked up and like i'm like mm, but is it they're my parents you know yeah. like they're, they're they're i'm pretty sure they did that like i don't know i just like make excuses but then sometimes i just especially like i said like 2018 and now i realize realize like they're human and like when they first had their kid even even when they had you they still didn't know what the fuck they were doing and even now like as we're all grown and shit like they still kind of don't know what the fuck they're doing like how we ha wake up every day and sometimes like a day can be extremely like confusing you don't know what to do and whatnot like they also have those days but they have three other people yeah. they have to think about like that shit is so crazy to me sometimes i remember whenever i first went to therapy and i was talking to you have therapy here no this is whenever i was still in rockwell i didn't what know therapy did you go with insurance she, huh with insurance no i just paid out of pocket mm -hmm. she wasn't crazy expensive it was like 150 or some shit it's actually kind of expensive is it right. well i would even say like and you said back in rock yeah. so now she's probably with with inflammation <laughs> she's probably <laughs> she's probably like 200 yeah, probably. i still go back to her i, I loved her she mm -hmm. was really cool it's good but i remember i was talking to her about mom and she was like i was just like going off i was like she did this this that it's like you didn't know your mom's like a person yeah i'm like what do you i'm like yeah she's like but do you understand like yeah she wasn't given a like the same way you're confused about life she's confused but with three kids under her belt mm -hmm. with no rules in a country she barely knows exactly here to i was like <laughs> 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 Listen, that, yo that knocked me out yeah, yeah. honestly therapy is just to humble yourself to be honest at some points a lot of it was just humbling i was like yo and ever since then, like, something shifted. I was just, like, I looked at mom. Because, like, like you said, I literally, I remember whenever I was little, I knew dad got on a plane to come see us. But, like, in my mind, he flew over right? to us. Like, this man was, like, Superman and Superwoman just, like, attacking the world. Yeah. I was, like, I'm hungry. Food somewhere, somehow. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. And I not this, like, American trash food. Nah. Like, the home-cooked meals. Like, she would literally come back from work and be standing over the <gasps> stove for hours. Like, it didn't make sense. And I was just like, whenever she got tired, I'm like. Okay, go recharge. Like, yeah, what is this? Right. I don't know. <laughs> even when she was tired. Sometimes even when she was tired, she still did it. Yeah. And then just go to sleep. Or she'd be like, wake me up at 15 to do this. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like just tell me I could do it. She's like, no, I'll just do it. I'm like, what? I'm like, where's all this yeah. energy at? No and and no Red Bull. They don't drink Red Bull Monster. Nah. Maybe a oh. coffee. And a I remember when um daddy used to drink monsters like crazy. Yeah. And then same thing, they found out that it was like caffeine. They're like, Oh never again. Yeah. And it's like, babe, you drink it. He how many freaking um things, things did he get? Oh, Sam's like, Club. Uh, and then Sam's Cup, you get you know yeah. it's a bundle. <laughs> no, the Mountain Dew was an addiction. The Mountain Dew was truly and now that you now that you think about it, like what the fuck is Mountain Dew? <laughs> well, like what's in it? Yes. Uh, nothing good. Like and that shit is green. Like that shit literally looks like the green shit, green chemicals you see on cartoons that like melt the people. Like we used to chug that shit. Me and Dad used to <laughs> fuck that bitch up. It's still kind of nice though. I, ain't gonna I know, like the Baja Blast at Taco Bell. Yeah, that's just all of the sale with alcohol. Put or you. the if you go during um happy hour at Sonic and you get like the I like Ocean Water or Purple O. Oh, uh, drinks. Isn't I think that people used to call it like something orgasm purple or that's the well actually i don't know because if since high school they say like that's the name and you're not supposed to call it that but yeah. i'm like i highly doubt of course when i was young i was like oh yeah duh but now that i think about it it's like i highly doubt sonic named their drink purple orgasm oh i don't think they did i think it was yeah. just a nickname people gave it to because it was hella good wow okay connection just, i like yeah. that, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> wow. it's like have you ever been what is it called i think like a mick bitch or mick game bang Oh. Oh, okay oh. um no you never heard it oh you don't like me no 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 huh well, uh, you want to go get it or yeah okay you know sure. those those things he left with like the 
the, I think they call it starts with the Scream B. ass. Yeah, that shit scares me sometimes. Especially yeah. when I see people just walking around it, especially if it's black. I'm like, mm, is this fashion or are you going to kill me? No, I like Scream. So one fail, one to get was, I wanted to get uh, like black jeans, Timberlands, a puff coat, and a ski mask. That's just because I love and New York. And you're black? Yeah, I just love New York. In Texas? Probably want to. I mean, obviously, I wear it in the right place. Like if I was going okay. to Fry Street or something. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. But mm, probably not the ski mask. Okay, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad but, I mean, you made I that connection. I wouldn't put the ski mask up. If I would, like if I was inside Fry Street, I would. Yeah. Okay. But it's more for pictures, if anything. Okay. I just love New York shit. New York. <laughs> Brooklyn, but Brooklyn. welcome to the party. It's brick outside. It's what very, else did it say? But uh, parents being uh, like humans, and what would be like? Honestly, if I was to pay three life lessons, mm -hmm. one would definitely be like owning your own shit. Yeah, like that's something they taught us. Like dad taught us, and they also thought it taught us without teaching us. Yeah, I just like saying. seeing them having to like work for someone else, maybe not want to work for someone else, but also seeing dad like owning his own shit. It was just like, and seeing him like go to like different places mm -hmm. and like just out of nowhere, like we're just driving. He's like shutting down soon. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you see the shutting down sign soon, and it just like made me understand life. Like you get a lot of shit for cheap. You get a lot of fucking a shit lot for of cheap. Great shit for cheap. And asking. That's the thing they used to do. I remember I used to be so embarrassed. We would go to stores and they'd be like, oh, any discount, any discount. But sometimes they'll get a discount. Uh, yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. But then I also feel like it's also the accent too. And I, like they're foreign. Like people can tell they're foreign. Yeah. So yeah. But I mean, in certain places, like I would go to Walmart yeah. and be like discount. But like in a furniture place, I didn't know you can yeah. actually discount. What the fuck? Or even like we would go to the beauty supply store and the Asian people would be like, okay, here, take a take a gum or take this yeah. comb or like whatever they have in front. They'll just take it. I'm just like, yeah, I just ask. It's fine. But it's a foreign concept here in America because you just take what you get. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something I kind of have. But every once in a while, like, I try to force myself out of it. Yeah. That, no one's, no matter how good you think someone is, like, always check on your strong friends type shit. Yeah. Shit like that. Yeah. Just because it was always like, especially that, just because, like, once again, I legit for I'm pretty sure for a time being I believe that like flew to America like he was <laughs> like super Superman ma yeah like I'm pretty sure at one point in my life I truly believe that like flew over and I just I just thought this dude was always happy 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 like, right he had everything figured out until one time it was like we were having Bible study me and him mm -hmm. and he showed me I want to say Matthews and it was like. Uh, what has stress has stress ever gained you an extra day in your life mm -hmm. and i asked him i'm like is that what you is that something you live by and he was like yeah i was like that makes a lot of sense because like i don't i feel like i never see that stress like every yeah. once in a while but, but for the most part even if he doesn't understand how it is he's just like i just ha have no other you choice. can always see it like switch like you can yeah. see that he of course the human reaction is to like what the fuck yeah but then it's like just like a switch goes in his head he's like all right well he has like his 30 seconds of human and he's like, all right, we got to get back to it. Yeah. Like he lets, it's kind of healthy in a way. Yeah, it He really lets is. himself absorb it and like let that emotion happen. So he's like, all right, what can we do? Exactly. And like going to business with him and like seeing that, like someone like, okay, we can't do it until this time, blah, blah, blah. And he was just like, fuck, Jesus. He's like, all right, right, so what's the next move? Yeah. I'm like, Damn. I'm, I'm like, someone just told you it's an X or 3K or some shit. Bro, and especially we can't when he do did that. Yeah. Like, stuff like that. When it comes to money, he's just like, fuck. I right. <laughs> like, and like, that mindset is just like, I don't know. He didn't let, and like, that. that's also being just a strong Christian. He didn't let, like, human shit really fuck with him. Exactly. Especially, like, money. Like, he wanted to save money, but he also knew he had to spend money right to make a lot of money. Yeah. And just looking at him, I'm just like, bro are you ever like scared to it's like i know my parents are human but i don't want to ask them like if they're okay or anything because like if they start to like break down to me like 
like it's almost like this image shatters yeah and not that like you don't think your parents are human anymore but it's just like it's still no matter what yeah. they're still your parents you still hold them in a pedestal right am i scared to ask them i feel like i'm more scared of the answer not no I, yeah that's what i meant you're scared no, of like the answer not no, this and i don't think it's because i think they'll cry i think they just wouldn't open up i just don't think they have i don't know i, I asked that because i i forgot gladys did some oh when she first like hurt her leg and then um dad was like okay we'll go to the hospital whatever day and she said that she felt like dad didn't care or he didn't like like she didn't he didn't care for like how she was feeling in that mm -hmm. moment or whatever and um i just because she called me and then i was trying to call him but he didn't pick up and i just left like a voice message and then he called me but i didn't pick up because i was at work and then he left like a um audio message no yeah he left the audio message and i called him back and then um he he said something that like stuck with me he's like y you said that i didn't care we all are my children like i give a lot up for you he was like listing some stuff that he gave up that i'm sure and not even give up but like stuff that he does sacrifices his time like he worked so hard you know because he has four mouths to feed including mm -hmm. mom um and that's and, just here and that's just here and you know yeah. dad is freaking generous and he yeah. gives to everyone and like when he said that i thought about it and it's like yeah, it may like he might not say yes to everything right then when we need him to, but like that doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't care. And I yeah. understand I was like an emotion Gladys was going through at the time, but like even like when he said that, I was just like, damn. Like that's another moment I saw like, like they gave up a lot of shit, and you know they had kids younger than we did. Like I yeah. feel like if they had the resources and time that we have right now, they would have been like a lot greater. And I always. I always kind of have regret for that because I was like, if he didn't have a family that he had to take care of mm -hmm. and all the money he spends, I'm like, he really could have invested in himself and his business. Exactly. And I've always like had a kind of like a regret. It's kind of bad. It's but like, like a guilt. A, yeah. A guilt that I was born. I was like, damn, like I took yeah. this from him. Or even like now when I'm when like I'm going to like right now I'm going to Oklahoma just just cause like I I'm free from work or whatever, and I'm thinking like and mom wants to go on her cruise and stuff and I'm thinking like, damn she can't really go cause like she has to work, and pay these bills you know and it's like I want to help, but at the same time remember Gladys told me like, it sucks now and we do have this guilt, but once they see us become great and do what we want to do they're going to be like. 10 times more happier than if we were to buy them a car right now and struggle or if we were to give up our life to take care of them like they would be so happy to see us do better and do great you know and it's just like damn and that's like, fucking cool nah for real i love them fuckers piss me off sometimes oh. but i love them <laughs> <laughs> but then like and the third thing would be like charity with dad yeah like, he's always giving oh, dude it's he's just like fucking giving if you need a dollar and he's his account's negative 30 he's gonna go out in the street and sell like some gum to get you that dollar <laughs> right and like ever since that that's one i think that's how i become most, okay that's probably why i became a server just because like i just love helping people mm -hmm. even that little way just that little service of taking your order yeah and being like a smiling face well at least whenever i'm not busy i'm a smiling face <laughs> well you don't <laughs> Off. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, but like whenever I'm slow, there's been times I've like had 30 minute conversations with people because they just yeah. needed it. And yeah. like, I'm not giving you money or like putting you through school like that is. But you'd be surprised. But, oh no, yeah, I know for a fact. I probably, I feel like at least one time in my life, I already saved someone's life. I and that's the crazy shit. I remember hearing this. I think that's one who told me that like this guy's son. He was like a uh, what's it called? People at church. Uh, pastor yeah pastor prophet pastor prophet one of them but you know they're living a good life and his son was like oh i'm gonna go get some food at the gas station um and he was actually gonna go and kill himself um but then when he went to the gas station to like get some food or whatever this one girl just like smiled at him and said hi and that was it didn't have a conversation whatever and then he came home and he was crying and then he told his dad like that was gonna happen but this girl just smiling at me like you know saved my life so it's like damn just being kind you don't know how many people's lives you say yeah just like common like generous and not even save change for even the better. changed yeah and that's what, and that's like because you can save someone today and then tomorrow they kill themselves right but like the lives you change just like have a conversation like hey like and a lot of it it's like social media everyone thinks everyone's life is better than theirs mm -hmm. so when you just talk to someone and you just break it down like yeah, it's kind of scary how similar everyone is 
Oh yeah, no one. A lot of people from like the average person from like five. Well, not five years old. What the fuck? A five year old guy? No man. Eighteen years old to like fifty. We're all just confused as hell, just trying to make it day mm, by day. Yeah. For the, like the basic things, just am I gonna make it tomorrow? Mm. And even the people that have it, that we see that's made it. They're like, am I gonna make it tomorrow? Right. And There's always something. Yeah, and it's. I used to think it was like kind of like, bello, well, dramatic, the right word, or like, this is not. I don't know what the right word, but I used to think it was wrong how like millionaires will f- um be depressed. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like, like, what the fuck? You don't yeah. get depressed about if you don't go buy yourself a new car. <laughs> like, and then, exactly, and then they're like, I've have everything I've ever wanted. But I have no one to share it with. I'm just like, fuck. Or they still feel like empty on the yeah, inside. Yeah, I'm like, and stuff. so what the fuck? I'm like, so is money not the thing I'm supposed to be chasing? Like, what, what am I supposed to be chasing? I think we're too focused as humans. We're too focused on one thing. Well, first of all, we always want more. Yeah. So, like, as soon as you get, like, they say sky's the limit. As soon as we get to the sky, we want to go outside the atmosphere. As soon as we do that, we want to go into the galaxy. And we just keep wanting to go. It's like we nev- we are never truly present in, like, where we are. So, I think that's one. And then, to i feel like we focus on one thing it's like money alone will not money alone is not the source of happiness but hello i still have i'll pay rent i have food i'll pay my student loans you know so it's like okay i need money i need therapy i also need a source to make me happy that isn't necessarily money or whatever doesn't have money involved and i think like so again with inflammation a lot of people are focused <laughs> a lot of people are focused on money at this moment and they're realizing that like money that's why you have like these big actors or actresses or millionaires who end up killing themselves because it's like i have the money but i'm still sad so there's clearly something wrong with me it's like no yeah. there's nothing wrong with you like it's hard to be happy sometimes especially if you have like mental illness and you have like voices in your head and not like you not like crazy people voices but sometimes it's like there's just a lot going yeah. in your head. And that's that's completely, as as much as it sucks to hear sometimes, that's really normal, actually. And if you're just talking to people about it, like, it helps. Like, I remember senior year, I spoke to this girl, and it was so crazy how, like, alike we were. And even, if, even though it was just one person, it made me, like, feel, like, not weird. You know, it's like, okay. People, and people it's are always, like, the people that are, like, the exact opposite of you. Yeah. And the thing, she was always happy. Like, I swear this girl was always on drugs. Don't, I and mean, she did drugs, but, but I mean, she did drugs. we went to a lot of <laughs> but, No, no, no. lived but, in, like, euphoria type shit. Yeah, listen, <laughs> but we were in college. Not saying that's better, but it's not high school. But, um. Oh, you were talking about college. I was talking about yes. high school. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, some one guy chipped off acid and he thought that he was an orange and he was getting, like, peeled and stuff. I was like, okay, well, not doing acid. Um, but. <laughs> this was in college and that was like the first time i met her and it's like she was completely opposite of me because you know me i'm happy but like i have my moments like her she was always on 10 247 365 you know and when we talked i was like wow okay it's different yeah and then another one who like seemed like to have her life together all the way and she was still going through shit and i think like for us we just need to t- we need to especially here in america we live in an individualist um culture like community society whatever and so we all think it's just us, us, us. But you'd be surprised if you just like open your mouth and say something. You know, just be like, hey, I'm pretty sad today. That's it. Just talk. The first time I understood that was with Chris. Me and him were like going through the exact same shit mm-hmm. at the same time. And it was like, me and him were both like, we're very athletic. We're very outgoing. We're very like happy people. And then it was just like weird. I would go to him to problems and not even like, the surface level problems yeah because it's like both guys are like we're athletics athletes we're talking about your feelings no yeah like we didn't do that shit like whenever we hanged out we'll just be like talk about girls but we wouldn't talk about like the pain we'll just talk about like yeah. surface level shit like yo bro this bitch got a fat ass look at it oh god <laughs> yeah. and then i don't know what happened i think he did it and this is why i always tell chris like i'm super proud of him because he reached out to me first and he was like sam i'm not happy Aww. It was something like around that. I was just like, dude, I'm not either. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I, <laughs> Bro, I'm sometimes like, you be like, laughing. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to like downplay your shit, but like, life's hard. I'd like, blah, blah, blah. We just yeah. talked for like a whole hour or so. I was just like, it, Chris is, you see Chris, he's white, brown eyes, blue, blonde hair, typical like jockey kid, me, 5'8, what do you call it? Nappy hair, black kid, 
we both like we're in the same events but like we're so like part of opposites socially mm-hmm. but the fact that like it just took him opening up now we talk about it like on a good monthly basis that's we all good. check up and check and then that's why i just understood like i feel like at a young age guys it's just like lack of tools we just didn't have the tools to talk about our emotions and people keep telling you to like be like a man you don't yeah. you're the one whose people are supposed to come to to comfort them yeah so like you can't break down and then so like i don't know like when he broke down to me i was like dude like i don't know i felt like he was stronger than me mm-hmm and that's all just like where is this fucking bullshit that if you're a man you talk about your feelings you're weak because i'm looking at chris now like he's he's my hero he's one of my heroes i'm like dude you're fucking strong if anything you're really strong strong. to literally like not even just like be self-aware but to speak it and to say it there's something about like truly like opening up that is super strong yeah like being strong enough to let that shit go and be vulnerable I'm just like, yo. That's that's a that's a that's a big man thing. Nah, for like, real. I was just like, and the way girls just do it, so like, just like they've been doing it since they're mm-hmm. little. Because we have, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> literally. That's just like common sense to y'all. Like whenever girl, like I remember I talked to Morgan. I told her that, and I remember I told Morgan, I was like, yeah, I don't really cry like that. Maybe once a year. Like the only time I cried when I was little is whenever I got my butt whooped. But yeah, it hurt. <laughs> but besides that, I'm like, what? What am I crying for? Yeah. And she's like, you're never upset. I'm like, yeah, but like, just keep it pushing. And mm-hmm. she's like, so you don't cry. I'm like, what? Really. what? What? Like, what is crying gonna do? Yeah, yeah. And then I remember one time I I was driving, like ten. I swear, like ten bad things just happened within an hour. I was just driving. I just started crying. I'm like, fuck. This is this some good ass shit. This is good. This some good ass shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is what crying is. I was like, yep. Yeah. yeah, I made it to myself. Like, once a, every once every six months, you have to cry. Just a good just, cry. Yeah, just one good like minute cry. Just that shit is like losing weight. I've it never is. felt lighter than whenever I was crying and talking to someone about something. And I hate when people are like, oh no, like crying is doing anything. Like only weak people cry. And it's like, to nah. be honest, to be honest, it how do i put this without making you sound like i feel like you're weaker for holding it in you are like not to, like obviously you, you have to wait until your time is right to yeah. let it out but there's some way like, you have to be strong enough to be vulnerable exactly it's the vulnerability that's like i know i have a problem and i'm gonna let it out yeah and i'm gonna like tear down my walls i know i've been hurt and like all these things i'm seeing it's like red flags mm-hmm. but i have to understand there are red flags because something in the past happened. Exactly. Not this. This person is in a red flag. They might do stuff I might not like, but I have to understand that's because of past traumas, and I have to let them know. Now, if I let them know and just keep doing it, that's a red flag. If I let them know and they change, that one good job for you for being vulnerable. Two good job for her for understanding your vulnerability and not using it against you, but helping you through it. Agree. And so that's where I see it mostly. Like, and like, that's why I named it This Is Therapy. Because I was like, bro, once I understood like what therapy is mm-hmm. and being vulnerable, I'm just like, bro, this shit's, shit's gas as fuck. No, it is. And I hate that people think therapy is like, it's like, it'll fix you. Like, I hate when, when I oh, keep hearing yet. people say, like, it fixes me, fixes me. I remember the first time I went to therapy, I probably wasn't open the first time. It was maybe like the second session. I was just like, yo, I thought I was over all of this. Like, I yeah. thought, like, I was good. But, like, and then afterwards, of course, I'm crying and whatnot. And what my therapist told me is, like, after you leave, um, whether it's in your car or I do Zoom, you just, like, sit there and be present and let everything. Because you don't want to carry that weight. You literally just said so much and did so much. You want to, like, give yourself time to understand all, process all the things that you just said. And then you go on with your day. And when I go on with my day, I'm like, I feel great. <laughs> Amazing. It's like great. a workout. Yeah. It's literally. a mental workout for me. It's like a reward. <laughs> it's, it is. Like sometimes you just gotta either. If you don't have money to go to therapy, I say just look once again. YouTube University. Yep. That was the first thing. One girl said I had anger issues whenever I was in high school, and she's like, I, I agree. <laughs> and she's like, I can't deal with you with this anger issues. And I really liked her, so I was like, this is the first sign of like I understood I needed help. Mm-hmm. And I just went on YouTube. I, in high school, I didn't have money, or did I care for therapy? Yeah. So I just went on YouTube, like, how to deal with your anger issues. There's hella videos out there if you can't afford uh, a therapist. therapist. And then I just started, 
I understood what they're saying, and I just wrote down my feelings. And journaling, you'd be surprised how effective journaling is for me. It's more like I think these horrible like i make one mistake like i'm like the dumbest person on yeah. earth they're gonna fire me whatever but once you start to write it down you hear or you can even see how ridiculous yeah. your thoughts are that's one and then two like if, if you're not good at talking like one of my friends he doesn't like talking about his feelings i say hey just write it down like so you don't have to because I, I i understand that like it feels it's almost like i understand where they're coming from when they say they feel weak because they're saying all of this but like he's like once he started writing it down like it felt good because you know? it's like you're kind of talking to yourself that's exactly. how i start that's how i had to start because once i started like writing it down and kind of like reading what i'm saying mm -hmm. and then like that's how kind of well, i'm happy i have a lot of female friends because they'll come to me and tell me their problems i'm like all right how i'm feeling is how like literally everyone i've known is mm -hmm. feeling so is it normal to feel like this i'm like yes so why do you feel like you can't talk about it and then i just started talking about it little by little by little mm -hmm. and now i'm just like bro i walked up today i was sad as fuck i just walked up made myself a bacon egg and cheese I feel pretty solid right now right you ready and to go to class yeah come on no and like that's the thing like one we need to normalize first of all i hate nor people saying normalize shit because like some of the stuff they're saying it's like we don't need to normalize Normal. that <laughs> so like, but we need to first of all we need to normalize like talking to yourself yeah because it's oh, like bitch dude. like hello <laughs> oh that's something mom taught us talk to yourself yeah i love talk i am my favorite person to talk to because like who's gonna understand you more than you exactly and like even like moments where like i want to say i have like dark thoughts like i'll be at work and i'm just like fucking sad man i don't know why and then like i'd be like why i'm just like i don't know and then i'm like well ugh, i haven't like been i haven't had time for myself recently like i start to actually like say yes, why i'm sad yes. and i'm just like okay like then i write it down and i'm like okay well i'm gonna do this later just to help me you know or so we need to normalize talking to ourselves and then two fuck i forgot what i was gonna say what were we talking about I pretty much talk to yourself writing it down mm -hmm. talk to your oh talk to your friends yeah normalize like just because one of my friends i forgot i said i i'm really bad with like replying and like calling people and whatnot and that's on my board <laughs> literally like, call, to call two people, friends yeah <laughs> and um he was like like why haven't you because before like when i when i was at unt i would be the person who would always reach out um i had a car so i would like drive to you and whatnot and he's like like you haven't like I, it's like two months i haven't talked to you and i'm just like yeah i've just been depressed and he's like why don't you say anything like i've been depressed too yeah <laughs> i'm like oh so let's be depressed together. Let's yeah, let's go be get depressed together. <laughs> like, like just talk to your friends. And it's not like, don't think that when you talk to your friends, it's gonna like you're gonna feel all better. Sometimes like, you won't, and that's that's okay too. That, yeah, that's okay too. Understanding that just because you talk about it, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not gonna change it. You're mm -hmm. still like, sometimes you still may be depressed. You still may be sad about that thing, but it's just talking about it. And hearing like um someone else's opinion about it yeah because that's sometimes what we especially like especially with covid and everyone working remote like you're always like in your own oh, bubble yeah. like once you see someone else's perspective it's like okay, mm -hmm. okay. and yeah. you also have to be welcoming or you have to welcome other people's perspective don't mm -hmm. be always so like defensive which these things again like i just feel like in a world with social media we're always like we think everything's gonna happen quickly like if you i like to say that if you've been doing something for so long you have to give yourself time to unlearn it and then learn the good things too mm, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's what some people i was talking to one of my friends and she's telling she was telling me how like her boyfriend isn't like change like he's changing but he's not like changing and i was like you have to give him time one he's like 30 something years old he's been in a relationship multiple relationships so he's learn some pretty bad habits so you have to give him time to unlearn these things and then learn mm -hmm. what he should and you have to choose if you want to be with him while he's unlearning but what you cannot do this is what i stress to everyone what you cannot do is leave them while they're unlearning and then now once they're doing good you go back to them yeah that's yeah, not yeah. fair you can't do that so i'm like if, you, if you're gonna break up with them and leave them leave them <laughs> you know like don't don't drag him along don't reap the benefits of something that somebody else did or what he did behind the scenes so yeah facts yeah yeah and i feel like that's just your 20s 
Everything we that just said listen, in your 20s. Listen, <laughs> I remember this waiter, you talking about being a server. She said that, um, I think Gladys graduated or somebody graduated and um, somebody said like, oh, you know, I'm tired of that. Like, what are you going to do now? And like, what's your next move? And she was like, hey, man, let me tell you something. From birth until like 10, 11, your parents are kind of teaching you what to do because you're new on, on earth. And then from like your teen years, to maybe even your early 20s, it's a lot of society teaching you what to do. Your 20s is you, you see the values that your parents taught you. You see everything social media taught you. And you try and become you in your 20s, right? You try to find you. And your 30s, people over here expressing like, oh my God, like I'm 18, I'm 21, I'm 25, whatever. Your 30s are really where you take off. Now don't get me wrong, like, you're not going to find you and be 100% okay all the time, but it's like you, you're you molding yourself and you're now seeing like the the reward to what you were doing all your 20s. And that's like something that sucks is that with social media and everyone getting like big money, oh my God, look at me, I'm 18, I have three businesses and this yeah. and that. And it's like you feel like you're behind, but nah, babes. Like like you're, you're really on your right path. Like just 100% believe that you are on your right path. You're supposed to be, what's his name? Jay Sisler. The book I have, How to Be a Monk. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, one of the, um, I forgot what they're called, but like sayings he said. Mm -hmm. There's like a spiritual word for it. Uh, he was like, I'm where I'm supposed to be at the time I'm supposed to be. Exactly. So he's never, he never thinks that he's ahead of when he's supposed to be. He never thinks he's behind. He's just like, where I'm at, is where, where I'm supposed to be. be. And that's good. Something he said that I like is that, um, I think he said like his monk or whatever t taught him that um, if you can't be kind to people, the very least you can do or the very the thing that you can do. How did he phrase it? Anyways, so he's like, if you can't be nice to someone, like the least you can do is to not hurt them. Like you don't yeah. have to hurt them. Like again, if you don't want to smile at someone on the street, you don't have to flick them off. <laughs> you don't have to like bump, bump them. Into, yeah. You know, you can simply just go your way. You go there, and that even that small thing is like made somebody yeah. else may look at it as like a huge act of kindness. I like that book. I haven't finished it yet, but I like it. Oh, you got it? Mm -hmm. Because of me? Sure. She got it because of me. <laughs> <laughs> I told so many people about the book. That was the first book I chose myself. Well, I guess Forty Eight Laws of Power was. If I didn't finish I that, that shit, I heard that book is like if you're not careful, it could lead like to gaslighting and like manipulation. Yeah, it's very manipulative. Mm -hmm. It's very. But I feel like I've learned to like it just because. I mean, it's like I, mean, I guess with anything, it's like you could choose to use it good or bad. Yeah. The great power comes with great responsibility. Aha, that's what he said, Uncle Ben. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, so, like, whenever I was reading that, I kind of used it to, like, just try to, I don't know, like, I just used it just to be, get, reap the benefits. So, yeah. like, if my managers were doing something and I need them to help me with something, I guess it's gaslighting, I guess it is. I guess or it's just, like, knowing I just how know, people work. Yeah, I, I just, know, like, I, you just understand how the people work and you just know how to use that to your benefit. Yeah. I could have done that with a girl and be like, try to get her to sleep with me. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, I, my manager's busy. I need to swipe, the, oh, I need him to swipe this card so I could pay someone out. So I'll just say some shit that I need. Yeah. Yeah, type shit. And he just hurries up. Instead of me waiting five minutes, they get pissed off and lower my tip. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, but at the time of whenever I was reading it, it was around the time whenever I was maturing more. And yeah. I, so I guess I read that the right time. High school me probably would have used it for the wrong reason. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. But now, just like whenever I was reading, I was reading it like sophomore year of college. I was like, "Hey, this shit kind of dope." And I wrote, I read, I said, "Wrote." <laughs> I read on um, how to be a monk, kind of over the summer. Mm -hmm. That was probably the best book ever. I'm not gonna lie. After reading like the first chapter, I was like, "Do I want to become a monk?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "This monk is so awesome, like, bro." Because that's something that ugh, that's something I really want to do. Like I just I don't want to. I always tell people. I always preface preface this by saying I don't want to kill myself, but I just want to like lay down and close my eyes for like, yeah. a couple months. Just <laughs> a couple leave months. me the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what I want, you know. And of course, I'm lucky enough to like I'm still staying at home with mom, but I I still want to move out and shit. And I want to build my credit, so like I'm doing like that's why I'm still like working. But like and then I read about being a monk, and I'm like. Is that what I want to do? You know, because like they got it. It sounds fun. <laughs> no, nah, dude. When I was reading, I was just like, okay, I, don't, I know I always made jokes about moving to Colorado mm -hmm. and living in the mountains away from people. Mm -hmm. 
But hey, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is my cousin. Mm-hmm. Listen. You know, and my best friend, um, Colton, he lives in Hawaii. He just like packed up out of nowhere, went to Hawaii. Man, like grew out a beard, just like living off He's the like land. He's like one with the earth. Yeah, I'm just like, yo. No, he that looks happy ass, as fuck too. I'm not even lying. I want to do that shit. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't want to say I envy people because in, being envious is not a good thing. But I love when people just like pack up their bags and say, fuck it, yeah. just go. I was like, dude. And that's why I'm like, whenever I think of people like that, that's why like, I started a podcast because I was debating about it so much. But now I'm just like, what's, a, what's really the worst thing that could happen? Exactly. And that's why I was just like, mm, fuck it. Just fuck it. Yeah. Because like, I mean, what? Only you, you get two views, but you you get to express, express yourself. Oh, dude. You get to experience this. And this is, that's basically what your 20s is for. Like, I, <laughs> you get to do crazy shit when you're like under 18 because you really couldn't like go to big boy jail. You know what I'm saying? So now you have to like be careful. And so your 20s, it's kind of like that. It's like, if you do shit and you try shit and you're in your 20s, people are like, ah, he's young. Oh, yeah. He's still learning. But if you unfortunately with the society we live in if you start doing this like your late 30s 40s people are gonna be like can you get your shit together like yeah, you're a man you're too grown like, to be doing this exactly yeah. so it's like yeah what is there to lose man fuck it fuck you don't be a pilot <laughs> like, <laughs> I, don't know, no. I, don't, I need shit to be on the ground i told y'all don't fuck with shit like bro i'm no, not going brother around. what a loser what a loser dude tomato tomato <laughs> tomato 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 nah dude that's all like and that was something i asked because last week Oh, he asked me what is one advice I would give to the world. I was like, "Fuck it." No, like, that what's, ass- what's the worst that could like really break it down? Whatever you thinking about, what is the worst thing that could truly happen? Starting a podcast, I lose about three, four grand from products, time and shit. That three, four grand, you're probably gonna spend on alcohol, mm-hmm. food, mm-hmm. something Stupid else. Shit. Yeah, I was like. So if I do this, try this for like four years, really just goes nowhere. Fuck it. Fuck it. And yeah. then especially if it's like a source of happiness for yeah. you. Like, okay, yeah, you may not be the biggest podcaster. You may not like have sponsorships and stuff. But you, what I love is that you can like look back and be like, yeah, that shit was fun. Yeah, I did that, yeah. That shit was fun. Like, it's just stories to tell. Like whenever you're on your deathbed, I'd rather be like, <laughs> you really spent 4K on a podcast like, for two months. Other than, damn, what if I started that podcast? What would my life look like? And that's what, because I used to not like taking pictures. But honestly, this, this can be kind of like vain of me. But I'm thinking like, I need my kids to see like, mom was fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. Mom was fucking mom cool. Was lit. Like, what? Like, 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 she don't traveled, me, she did all yeah. this shit. Ah, it's nice. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm very strict to my schedule. But back in the day, <laughs> when I was weird. your age. I was the life of, of the, the party. party <laughs> like, I was shit on all of you. Listen, fu- if, if my knees were as fucked up as they were before, I'm you, I will fuck, fuck you up. You <laughs> like, I'll burn off on all of y'all right now. Listen. <laughs> why uh, do you why keep saying Because you say, listen, no, so I'm, I'm going to listen. Like, <laughs> like, when people say listen, it's like, no. sh- like I agree. No. <laughs> The mic will be saying shit too. All this new slang. I'm just like, it's not a new slang. It's just been happening forever. Right? No. Like when people, because a lot of fucking people are moving to Texas. Please stay where you're from. Um, they'll be like, they say Texas people keep saying, oh that hoe is nice. That hoe is lit. They're like, why is everything a hoe? It's like it's not. Oh, it's not like I'm calling you, you a, a hoe. hoe. Yeah. They just say that hoe is nice. You know. Or a minute. I love minutes. Probably my newest favorite slang. Since I haven't seen you in a minute, bitch. Three months is not a minute. Yeah. <laughs> And then I, my old, like one of our older managers said, I was like, wow, it's been slow for a minute. I'm like, I was, <laughs> like, I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I have kids, Sam. I'm like, okay, but you got He's like, okay, what do you do with the slang? I was like, look at you being a You're youngster. A youth. <laughs> look at you being a youth. <laughs> no, thanks, bro. That's my favorite manager, too. So whenever I work with him, he says some shit. It just makes me laugh. My dream parent, like if I, if I can express to you, the parent I want to be, go watch movies where like parents are trying to be hip with the time. Oh no, yeah. Oh my god, I will embarrass. I want to be like in um, what is chaperone their dances and be like, oh y'all know about the chicky. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? You. What? What? Wow. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> Remember, um, uh, it was on Vine, oh, Vine, man. But this one guy, he would like, he'd be like, whoa, and like put his spices and his cooking and his uh, food. He'd be like, whoa. What y'all know about that? <laughs> what y'all know about that? He'd be like, all right. Bye, kids. And I'm like, oh, brother. That's going to be me. I I like set my mind up. Two things. I need, if like, 
if my daughter's um friends don't try to fuck me i felt as a dad for her okay and if okay. I, <laughs> I feel like that's a little bit like somebody can see that hear that and be like mm, pedophilia yeah. but i get you i don't know i got my wife same thing for my wife all my son's friends have to be like dude i would totally fuck your mom bro so you want her to be a, a milf and, a and then for you to be a dilf yeah we just got to be the hottest people on the block no, i agree and then two i need all my i, I want to have the party house and I'm always like at least once a week I gotta embarrass my kids in front of them. I'm like, oh shit. Hey. What oh, we doing? Like, Damn. <laughs> I'm like, oops, what y'all playing? Oops, that, oops. Is that the new 2K? I whoop all y'all's fucking asses. I would whoop all your asses, like, man. Fuck out of here. All bro. your asses. Like y'all want some alcohol? Psych. Bitch. The fuck out of here. I will call the police. <laughs> nah, but I just like that's two things I have to like. It's like a must, a must being a parent. But like, I also feel that with the whole like alcohol thing. Cause like when I tell people I drink at home or I drink in front of my parents, they're like, what the fuck? And I'm just like, why, like, why would you not? I, I want my kids to feel that comfortable oh, no, yeah. around One, me. We're over 21. And then two, even when they're young, I didn't understand how alcohol worked. Not even that. I remember the reason to this day, and this is why I feel like you should be very open with your children. The reason to this day I do not drink beer is because that let me had it have it when I was a child. That shit was the most disgusting <laughs> shit. So even I've never tried it. You can tell me like this beer is different, like they make it different now. The I don't IPA, care. I will not touch it. Liver. I or it's will like not light. fucking touch it. And I promise you, if they gave it if they gave me like vodka, tequila, and all that shit when I was a child, I will not touch it to this day. You don't think so? I don't think so. That I mean I remember drinking Jack Daniels and oh, uh, actually that's true because they gave me Hennessy as a kid. And, and I don't you don't fuck, fuck that shit. And you see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying going around and like you know give Get your, your kids, kids drugs or give them like crack, crack or something like relax, you know. But like be open with yeah. them and have that conversation. Don't be like mm, your child. You won't understand, bitch. Your child is gonna be 20 and like in a blink of eye. Listen, so please teach them. You see how but, I got it right there? You said listen. listen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Nigga, the fuck? You I said, w- listen. No, I went like, I would like this. I was like, oh, come, 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 come. <laughs> act cool, act natural. Oh. But yeah, damn. Okay, that ass. No, I gotta yeah. Go. I was trying to say, because I know you got to go and it's getting late. Before you leave, what is one thing you learn about life and what is one advice you give about life? One thing I learned. Damn. I, I feel like whenever I listen to podcasts and people have these questions, I always have like an answer. Yeah. But when it's me, it's like, I'm like oh, I don't know. Um, I think I'll start with like the advice. And my advice would be, okay, let me say this. No, for one thing I learned about life is that you're going to be okay. Especially like that I've had some pretty dark moments. And even now when I think about like, oh my God, I work for Meta. Like I'm getting like these certificates. Like I'm, my manager wants to help me grow in this this community or whatever in Meta. Um, and I'm thinking like, damn. Like I remember those moments where I was so fucking down. And it's like, you're going to be okay. I don't know when, but like you are going to be okay that's one advice that i would give or that's like one life lesson that i've what what was the first question life lesson you learned that's one life lesson i learned and one advice that i will give is trying to give like everything we like talked about today damn i don't fucking know and watch watch what i get in the car and start driving i'm like "Mm, Uh, i should have said that i'm fucking genius no but let me let me just think of something like some cheesy shit um one life lesson i will learn get up and do it like i know i know like that's that's cheesy and shit but like let me say this don't wait on anyone like there are certain things it's funny because i I honestly should be listening to my own advice right now especially (laughs) the whole content (laughs) but like if there's something you want to do in life just go and fucking do it like before i especially in college i wanted to like travel and not even like go anywhere like expensive because bitch i don't have money but like just like go and do like adventurous things but i didn't want to because like people weren't ready they didn't want to go oh bless and that's white people shit you know and it's like now i'm doing shit that i like i want to do you just get up and fucking do it um i want to go to bali everyone is talking about like oh, i don't know i don't i don't, I don't have my passport i don't you know bali's expensive blah 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 whatever and i saved up and i'm going to bali by myself um i want to 
explore more of this earth that god has created it's so fucking beautiful i you can ask my brother i travel like damn near every month because i i want to like if you can come with me great if you can't i'm still gonna do it you know um so just like <laughs> like nike says just do, do it, it. <laughs> just fucking do it man so yeah oh, i got nail nike army that's the first Hey! <laughs> Just do it. All right, dude. Thanks for having us. I said thanks for having us. Thanks for being on here. Do you have any social medias you want to shout out? Um, I mean, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm not very active. Uh, what's my name? At Blessing Okulisa. I should really change that because I don't want people to know my entire name. And I feel like Blessing's a solid one namer. Uh-huh. You know, like a Beyonce, a Zendaya. Who else has one name? What is it? Just do Blessing now. No, but I feel like blessing is like good on its own, especially when people are like, but that's is that your real taken. name? Oh, it's a hundred percent taken. Uh, every, yeah. every fucking thing is taken. Yeah. Blessing underscore one, two, three, blessing underscore, but I, everything you can think of. Yeah. So that's why I had to do my whole name. But I also don't really want people to know my full governmentals. You governmentals. Know what I'm saying? I have a bad habit of introducing people with their government name. So that's why I told you to introduce yourself. No, because I like I am literally like that. Like when people are like, "Oh, my name is Young Breezy." I said, "What did your mother do? Yeah, what is what your, is wrong with you? Do you <laughs> know how hard it is to choose a name? Are you over here, Young Breezy? Get out of here, you loser! <laughs> like what the fuck? Nah. Or when people are like, "Oh, my name is Sam," I'm like, "Oh, Samuel." No, it's Sam. I'm like, mm, "Is it? <laughs> is it?" <laughs> but yeah, so please, like, even there's so many people who get mad at me because I call them their full name, and I'm like, "Babes, I don't know what to tell you. Like, That's, your mother's one of the names that. If you have a problem." beat her ass yeah. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know like, i'm just following the rules bruh listen i didn't make the rules so i just follow them um but on i think instagram tiktok yeah instagram and tiktok it's blessing okulisa b-l-e-s-s-i-n-g-o-k-w-u-o-l-i-s-a mm. and then on tiktok no on twitter don't follow me on twitter i say <laughs> some inappropriate shit i don't want to be canceled <laughs> don't follow me on twitter but yeah <laughs> No facts. I already know if anything was to get me canceled, it's like 2017 Twitter. Not gonna lie, if I ever see myself like becoming famous, I'm gonna hire like two or three private investigators to go like dig up some shit that I, of course, would not find. And I'd be like, I right, like I delete the shit. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. I that's I I was thinking about that's that like two nights fun. ago. That's smart. yeah. I need to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. And you you would be surprised <laughs> or even if like they'll even find shit like if somebody's like pretending to be you or your photos out somewhere they'll find it so yeah so that's oh, heads up shit. if you ever plan on becoming famous hire a private investigator for yourself <laughs> damn i feel like a lot of people do that too. i feel like that's like i and i was thinking about that and i'm like i'm pretty sure that's what people like these big what are they called like um corporations not or? even corporations but i'm thinking more like families that like for instance you're a man so you marry you're gonna marry a woman into your name you're gonna bring that woman into your name so now she's a reflection of you so for these prominent families yeah they're going to like oh, yeah, get yeah. exactly so they do that too and then like if like for instance some somebody gets signed into a music company they're going to do their research on that person one to make sure they're a good person but two they're also going to make sure like they because you can get canceled for anything nowadays yeah. they're going to make sure that like they delete a lot of your shit so you don't get canceled because people were getting canceled for, for shit they said back in 2006 Bruh. mind you i can't even remember that two, 2006 was a year <laughs> that's why i said 2000 ago. like my 2015 through 2018 like high school and my kick if anyone ever found my kick twitter or snapchat shit and that's the shit it's like babes you were a child <laughs> we all did stupid like, shit i'm not gonna lie <laughs> like, like damn it like, so I'll be sick. So I was like, damn, I said that. I'm like, I understand they'd be canceled. That's out of pocket. But like, but like I, don't, I don't think that now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Growth. old me. Come on. Like. Growth. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Bad. It's two advice. I said two advice. Learning. What was learning? Learning was you're going to be okay. Okay. And then advice was just do just it. Just fucking do it. If you just ever, get up and do it. Just think of the Nike sign. Just, just, just do, do it. it. Just get up and fucking do it, man. Start today or tomorrow. Start whenever you want to. I, it's free country. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean is start right now. Start right now. Start right now. Hey, bro, chill out. That shit is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, once I saw people do that, you hear that. Yeah. Oh, that's ruined. Thank God she did it. That's ruined. <laughs> Bitch.